Hello and welcome to Aviation This Week on Channels Television. I'm Bokola Joe Oketumbi and we're reaching you from the new terminal of the Port Harcourt International Airport. Bridging Nigeria's airport infrastructure deficit is critical to the survival of both local and international airlines plying their trade in the country. Just recently, Aviation Top Shots gathered in River State for the commissioning of the new international terminal. This terminal is one of the four facilitated by the $500 million Chinese loan taken in 2013. We also bring you other happenings in the sector, and our flight is ready for takeoff. Airports are an integral part of the aviation industry that provides 58 million jobs down the value chain worldwide, contributes $2.4 trillion to global gross domestic product, while the value of international trade shipped by air reached $6.8 trillion in 2015. While most airports are seen as places where aircraft take off and land, the International Air Transport Association also describes airports as business complexes that include hangars, fuel depots and shopping malls. With facilities for passenger processing in place, airports must also be friendly. It's not enough to have an airport, the airport must be functional. The airport must be seen to be, um, how would I say, facilitating passenger movement all the formalities, so to say. It must also be an airport that has the ambience that welcomes you. It has to start from the beginning. And the beginning is from the design perspective. You must design your terminal to be customer friendly. You must design your terminal to fulfill all your facilitation requirements. Next step is to provide necessary equipment that are required be it X-ray machine for security or the necessary security requirements, security um, scanning machines, or even to automation of different passenger facilitation tools. Before now, the Good Luck Jonathan administration approved a remodeling exercise for the reconstruction of 22 airports owned by the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria in two phases. The international airport in Lagos was extended and given a facelift after the first time since it opened in 1979. This led to the construction of a new terminal at the Murtala Mohammed Airport, as well as the facelift for the existing structure. While Ilori and Benin airports were also completed in the first phase of the exercise, some others remain uncompleted airports. As part of the airport upgrade, the Port Hackett International Airport is the first to be commissioned. The terminal to be opened changes the narrative of an airport which had been adjudged the worst airport to sleep in the world in 2014 and 2017 owing to its dilapidating state. Four years after the construction began, President Buhari is in Port Hackett to do the honours of opening the terminal. But first, he speaks on the need for a virile industry. Nigeria having an advantageous central location within the sub-region and our desire to develop into regional air transportation hub must upgrade its facilities to take advantage of its assets. The recent decision by the federal government to remove value-added tax from domestic air transportation is in line with global best practices. This will make air travel more affordable and subsequently lead to the creation of jobs by air transport service value chain as well as increased revenues for the government. While this facility is proof that River State is safe for business, there's need for a new road construction. Your Excellency, Mr. President, because of the spirit of partnership, now that he has done this, I can assure you that will be done. Then, the formal commissioning. The new terminal occupies 48,000 square meters with 24 check-in counters, three baggage cup sides, 28 immigration counters for arriving and departing passengers, four screening points and four boarding gates. The terminal is expected to process 7 million passengers per year, 
While the Abuja, Lagos and Kano terminals are next in line to be open to the public. And next is our interview with the Minister of State for Aviation, Hadi Surika. He was speaking at the commissioning of the Port Harcourt International Airport.